Hey guys, I'm Shark, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can get to Diamond in just two hours with Vladimir if you watch this video completely. I'll be covering all the concepts on how to win every single laning phase consistently, how to close games out with your lead, when to recall in lane, and general tips for climbing. We will be covering multiple ranks with timestamps in the description below. Thanks for watching, and feel free to smash the like button if you enjoy or find it helpful, and subscribe to see more like this in the future. Welcome to game number one of the two to three hour climb with Vladimir. These, those are the runes we took Summoner's Airy over the phase rush because we're playing against a Kastin who's melee. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty medium difficulty matchup because we don't necessarily... Or the Kastin can minimize against my poke since I'm not the strongest early game champ. But we both have scaly components to our kit, so in the end, it's kind of uh, it's kind of even. It really is. D shield will literally tank all of the auto attacks and Qs I do for the most part. And yeah, yep, queuing my Q. You already know my Q range is inside of Castin's Q. Yep, yep. Alright, yep. Slow build the wave. Hit the cast with some auto attacks. Are you serious, Riot Games? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why I, I clicked the Q on the cast. Don't know why I didn't go through. But now I think I'm going to bounce the wave out. Actually, I'll make it after I crash this. Last wave I crash, and then I'm going to bounce the wave out. This is what I'm talking about. Cast being able to just minimize the lane. If you want. <clears throat> See, now I want the wave to be on my side, so we got to just chill for a minute. And let the next wave push me in. Oh. I could be there first. You gotta always try to back up your jungler if possible. Take the scuttle, bro. Take the scuttle crab. Cast is trying to uh, crash it in. Has a level on me. Gotta make sure this wave doesn't crash. I think Vlad, uh, Cass is gonna recall the TP, most likely. Which, I mean, it is fine. Loses probably the whole cannon wave. And I'm okay with, like, a, a long laning phase since I just wanna hit my items. As long as I'm able to farm well. Yeah, okay, that's it. Loses a full cannon wave. That's what Vlad really wants. If possible, to just trap their laner in lane and uh, out farm him. Tear, okay. Tear the goddess on Kassadin. I'm fine with that. Getting some points into my ability so I actually have some damage to work with. And some sustain I can... Uh... That's why Cass is playing aggressive. Kane's here. Kane's here for the rescue. Oh no. No lie, I could either... I could have either recalled there because it's a cannon wave or take the risky route. Take the risky route like I'm doing here and staying and trying to fight the cast in 1v1. 
But I should be up in levels because I'm up the cannon wave, so. I don't even care if I... You see what I'm saying? I don't even care if I miss the cannon. Because we just need the level 6 and then we can 1v2. Kane's trying to camp mid. And then okay, Cass didn't use the TP last time because he already lost the whole cannon wave. Now chooses to TP. Now we recall. 1.7k gold. There we go. This game, since they're all heavy AD, not AD, uh, melee. I'll just go the flat AP. I can do it in this lane. It's not like a fizz where I'm afraid of his burst. I can probably just go night harvest. They harvest the way to go. Oh man. I can't believe it. No bot lane. <laughs> Cast didn't want bot though, so that's one thing to note. Actually, now ah, we'll see. We'll see. Night Harvest versus Proto. I'm fine with that trade. The short, short trades actually benefit me because I have more healing with my Q. And that's why Vlad is so annoying. Post first recall it is. Especially if you're a melee. A pain in the ass. I think Kane is trying to gank mid. Yep, yep. <laughs> we just flashed the W. There we go. Literally try to bait them in for the 1v2. Oh man, missed the cannon. The cannon randomly targeted the other mid. Yeah, the, my cannon targeted the cannon out of nowhere. Um. Uh, Thing is, it's a good recall, but I think I lose one tower plating. Yeah. No, I don't. Okay, we're good. Ah, forget it. I'll build the blasting one into like a, a needleless. Or the what's it called void staff. It builds into void staff, so we'll just get that. Or maybe demonic, but I doubt it. Shadow Flame is better for especially mid lane. Man, Kasten took a tower plating. All right, maybe in the future, we might hit uh, Kasten with some. EW tire dives. I think I can do it. Yeah, I probably can do it now. Since Vlad isn't here. But if you E and then W, as you can see. Oh, yeah, Cassidy went for the roam. Good thing Nocturne's there for the counter. I think they still lose it, though. If they look for the full fight. What? Hey, three tower platings, two waves, huge. Once you get your first item, that's when Vlad, especially if even our head, starts to become uncounterable. 
<clears throat> Getting close. And I am up two levels. Ha, huh, look at Kane. Doesn't get all his raptors. Yup, yup. You already know the game. I'll look for the Q, even if I tank a tire shot. Because I can just heal it. Nah, I don't want it all in that. I was thinking I might be able to with my R and Ignite, but... It's just better if... We do it off the next wave for the dive. But Vlad could just R away. It's, it's like a known fact. Alright. I have no W's, though. Leaves me kind of vulnerable, but... Yep, that's that. And then the Night Harvester should be pretty huge. Look at that sidestep. We're scripting. We're scripting this video game. Can I take it? Two more autos. There we go. Now when we come back, we should be level 11. Two points into the ulti. Oh yeah, Night Harvester with Magic Pen. Should be able to 1v9. Let's just do that. I think, yeah, this game I'm going to go Rabbit on second. That's more for top lane, but some Vlads prefer max CDR with the Night Harvest and then Lucidity Boots. But that's more for like the healing and, you know. Vlad, especially mid, is more for the assassin and burst. That's right. Alright, now we roam. Even if bot has double buffs, I still think we can just one-shot burst him. Okay, top lane's going well. Even if they're running away now, it's too late. Thousand gold shot down there. Hook me. So I can empower Q. <laughs> there we go. Now I think I think the Yumi should go on to me. All right. All right, Yumi. Yumi, Yumi players or will be Yumi players, you know. Very uh, talented individuals, right? <laughs> they they basically at the 15 minute mark, all they have to think this this is the hardest mechanic of Yumi. Who's the most fed on the team, and how do I press W on them? That's the most skilled mechanic. Just kidding, not the most skilled. I don't want to flame the Yumi players, but this Yumi's tilting me. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, that is actually like the mechanic though. Because too many times Yumi just stay on the ADC like this. Like, what is what, what is a 1 in 3 Jinx going to do at 15 minutes, you know? Like, what? What do you think? What is that Jinx going to do? Versus a 5 and 0 Vlad?
I win this. Alright, there's literally five people bought. I need the Yumi. That's all you gotta do. Press W on me. Why? Why are you? That's ah, probably a duo. You know how it goes. The unstoppable BFGF bot lane duo. I know how that goes. Don't worry. I don't want to flame you. I don't want to flame you. I know how that goes. You just want to support. But little do you know. I am the true. Oh man, that silence really did mess me up though. I am the true carry. And you're going to have to. <laughs> you're going to have to leave your duo for me. Okay, I don't think I don't think she is. I don't care though. I do not. I don't really care that much. This is the rank one Yumi world. Am I right? I might just start side laning. Yeah, that probably is the move. Is our team? And their grouping is actually really weak. I'm not seeing too much MR, so we can just go death, uh, death cap. And then the only person that might be able to match me is Mord, but at the same time, he can't really match me. In the long run, we win 1v1. And then everyone else is just... I could one-shot burst him. Using Q on the way for healing. Oh, what? And we W away, so that way the cane can R. Oh, what's going on mid? I have no clue. I hope they win it, though. Because Vlad is split pushing. I think they might be after me. Let's see. No, I don't have R. I don't know where their team is, so I don't really want to go for the gen. It's better we go death cap and then get the extra 150 AP. All right, is this game, I, I think now we can group, but it's more worth it if we just split. Because our team is actually semi far ahead. As long as we get to their back line, that's like their main damage source. Oh, sweet. We can take their blue. Yeah, ain't nobody coming bot lane. I'm done. I'm doomed. Or am I? Yo, you, you gotta help me, man. Yubi, Yubi, Yubi. 
Nah, whatever. I I'm like so lost. Gonna heal off that. I cannot offer assistance there, but drag is up soon. We gotta play for it. I'm close to void staff too. Alright. Should heal us to full here. Late game Vlad is quite uncounterable. Assuming that you're farmed well. 9 to 10 CS per minute. That's like the goal. In all games. <laughs> nah, Alright, last chance. Last chance. Let's see if we can make it happen. Pals? Okay. That's that. That's the last uh, attempt I'm gonna make <laughs> at reasoning with a 200 IQ Yumi player. It's okay. This is the rank one Yumi world, by the way. We don't need that Yumi. Bro, oh, that Yumi player can literally play with one hand or be multitasking while playing that champ. I mean, I guess that's why people play Yumi and how Yumi is still uh, at the stage pro champion, you know? And they're all after me. No, I just needed it. To, um, needed to get my empowered Q off. All right, that's shut down there. There's three people bought, and we're not gonna go Baron. Uh, I don't even think my team can. No, they can. They're not even behind. That's crazy. What are you? All right. Not even gonna argue it. Sometimes people play like NPCs, and if they're NPCs, it, it is what it is. I'm still split pushing though. This is like, I don't even think our team is grouping for objectives like that. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, shut down there. Oh, we're tower diving. Good. Good job, Yumi. Talented. Rank one world. It's okay. The Vlad man will carry. Sadly, my Magi stacks are... Uh, are low now. See what this That's fine. Need to one more Q off. <laughs> okay. What's up, Cassidy? I know that Kane's probably here. Or like everyone's gonna come from the bush. Had a feeling. Mordekaiser. Jin. See if I can get uh, get a pick on one of them warding. Oh, 
Hey, you know what? We're just gonna go for the gin. Nice E. Oh, Mordecai is just mid. Okay, we can keep pushing bot. That is good, jolly good. Okay, they're all bot or all top. Nice auto, nice two auto. Is that not a kill? Hey, it is. Okay. Mordekaiser, come to base. That way you could try to get your Penta. We'll see if you can get your Penta, though. Yumi, if the Yumi was on me, the game be over by now, but, you know, it's okay. We'll just continue to 1v4 bot. Oh, Mordekaiser, you're supposed to try to come for the Penta kill. Why didn't Mordekaiser come for the Penta? Let's see. I really do. I just like going the heavy damage and magic pen. That's my goal. I could go Zonia's if I'm like afraid of burst, but as I think if I use my W correctly, I, I really don't need it. All right. Let's see if I can try to get a pick here. Should be dead. There we go. <laughs> nice one. All right. And then now I split top. I split top, team groups mid. We closer from there. Uh oh. I W'd when I had my empowered Q up, which is kind of tragic, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Gonna go for a little uh, loop de route here, get the shutdown on the Mordekaiser, and just like that, I think that should be the game. We got a Zonia's user. A Zonia's gin player. Okay. This is the perfect Vlad execution. Catch you in the next one. All right, welcome to the two to three hour climb with Vladimir. Basically, I mean, yeah, we're playing against Nico, pretty medium difficulty matchup, but the two common pages are going to be the phase rush and Ares, Ares for the melee and 
phase rush for the range. But that's like a basic rule of thumb. There are exceptions where you can go conquer and others when you can go electrocute. But yeah, yeah those are the runes. And honestly, against his melees, you could actually go Scorch, especially after the buffs a while back. And uh, yeah, they're comp heavy on the melee side of things. So, I mean, that's actually pretty good for us in ways that's landing our R's uh, pretty easy. But we're playing against Nico Shaco, so we got a word for the Shaco. They're invading. That's unlucky. We just want... Our level 1's actually really bad, so we don't even want to show up. We just want to make sure her minions kill my minions, so that way... I can have an XP and CS lead. And then just fear... Fear for the... Fear for the Shaco gank. Yeah, that's just, that's done for. I'll ward right here because I know Shago can hop over that wall. And honestly, we, we really most likely can't even solo kill the Nico. I lied. Because she didn't want to miss out on the minions. So we got to insta crash this and recall. She didn't want to miss out on these minions, but... It's a little bit too late for that. Gotta make sure I don't miss this cannon. Yes. There we go. And then now we can hit B. She gets the majority of the wave anyways, but she missed out on quite a bit. Proto Belt Rush. Actually, uh... Especially against these melees, Night Harvester might actually help with the movement speed. I think it's a Night Harvester game. Yeah, oh, I guess it could go both ways. Both work, especially if you're snowballing. Um, Proto Belt will give you the more magic penetration, but... You know how it goes. Night Harvester might be more of the appropriate. The appropriate build. I, I don't even. The thing is, I don't even want to. I don't even want to shove because we're playing against Shaco. So we just want to chill and then try to get Nico to use all her mana. And we don't we don't even have ignite, so our kill pressure is not really there. And what really counters Vlad is going to be the fact that his wave clear is terrible. So as long as we're able to match the Nico with auto attack and Q, that's a win. Yep, yep. And we get healing from our Q. Oh, Nico stayed forward. Okay. Just try to go for a little zone there. All right. What we're really scared of is that Shaco gank. Which my ward was kind of an oopsie, but... We'll just lean towards our left side since that's where we have the vision ward. But he could be hovering over there. I got a... I think I can pick this minion. And look for the EW combo 
to make sure we get the kill. And yeah, really did stem from that level one. Messed her up. And this wave sh should half crash. Okay, full crash is nice. Recall, get the uh, Hextech Rocket Belt into Hextech Alternator. And we start heading back mid. In this game, I'll just go proto. An extra gap close. Because they're all like low range anyways. But that could be the difference between them running or... Us getting the kill. And now we actually hold some power within the lane. We dodged it. And the longer we're able to hold the CS lead, the better. Even if the Shaco shows, I think the Shaco might be showing. There's no way Nico would walk up like that. Could be wrong though. Oh man. Alright, we get the burst off there, and I think with the Q we should heal enough. And we got four people mid. Ay, ay, ay. If I could have gotten a full charged E into Ignite, that might have been a kill on the Nyla, but unfortunate. We got the whole party mid. Just for us. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know what? We can build... We can build the Blasting Wand into something else. Like Void stuff. I think Night Harvest will be actually really huge this game. The CDR will go a long way. Wonderful. And we'll be able to pop off a lot more. I thought she was going to look for the E. I thought she was going to look for the E, but all right. Jaco did not show himself bot. Man, I just needed to get into range. Should still be enough. Yep, should still be enough. The EW combo. So that way the Nico couldn't get her damage off and we could. It's one of these lanes. It's not like our worst matchup. Because what counters Vlad especially is going to be those control mages that I'll wave clear him. Nico, ah, she's more of like a burst mage in ways. So, it's a lot more doable. Versus someone like Anivia who just will infinitely push you in. 
Get that Night Harvester, and I think we go, we go Rabadon into Void Staff if they're stacking MR. Am I recording? I am. Nice. Let me check. Yeah, I think we will go that build. We're absolutely massive now. We're not playing games with this Nico. She's trying to wave clear from distances. No! My stuff didn't go in on time. That's alright. We're slowly chipping out the, the Nico. Till we can just get a dive under tower. We gotta charge one more Q. Ah, yeah, yeah. The wave didn't crash on time. But we still get the kill. And then now, since ball lane's so far ahead, I don't necessarily want to roam yet. I want to wait until I have a little bit more items. It's fine, we just need to crash this. And then I can recall and get my magic pen boots in this huge. Even with our CS and being so tragic this game. We still are getting like the eight minutes per uh, eight CS per minute, eight to nine, yeah. Which is, I mean, the numbers you want to go for. Typically, though, especially in laning phases that are slow, you can get the ten to eleven. That's doable. I think I can one shot that Nyla. Yeah, for sure. Go bot. <laughs> She's level 9. She's level 9, no MR. So it's very doable. We get that massive shot down there and we, we keep building towards uh, Rabadon. Yeah, I was definitely going to walk there. Gonna queue that minion. Nope. Yeah, I knew I could bait him in. Oh, I knew I could bait him in there. <laughs> and let me life steal off these minions. Master, my life steal. Nah, it's fine. I'm recalling anyways. And then that fight. No! Oh, yeah, yeah. Shago came out of nowhere. All right, we're playing a game. A game called Five People Mid, but little do they know. We'll probably win. We'll probably win the... the... Actually, let me think about this. Should I go Magi's here? I think it is doable. Yeah, going Magi's. Five, it's going to be a game of five people mid. Oh, yeah. Nah. I'll side lane. I'll side lane. That works. Ezreal can go mid if he wants. I'll draw attention down bot. Probably safe. It's safe because I don't have 10 stacks right now. So it's just safer to go double needleless and give us 
the flat 120 AP. They're probably going to try to 5-man bot. But as soon as I get my R up, I think it's doable. So Yumi Ezreal, like they don't, they, they shouldn't die. Oh, Yumi did. I got a lot of flat, flat AP. We're just clearing it up. All right. Wanted to. I really did. I wanted to pull her Q, but she went from Frog of War, so it kind of caught me off guard. It's fine that they're doing that mid. We're going to get an objective bounty bot. I'll recall. We have to fight it mid. They're probably going to recall as soon as I come mid, but I need my Rabadons. And then now we can probably play for that Baron. I'm going to come from the side. Hit All right. You know what? I can't come from the side with it when there's a vision ward. Okay. If we can fight over drag, that's kind of like the the real big goal here. But I don't even think our team can react on time. Shaco just showed topside though. It's possible. Yeah, it is possible. All right. Gotta keep pushing forward our lead here. And you know what? If Yumi goes on to me, even better. Yep. Yumi goes on to me, even better. We can really show them that we can 1v9. So we go here. Don't think Shaco, is he? No, he's not going to come here. We got Naya top. We're going to see if we can uh, clean her up with the... I need my Q, man. My bad. We're, we're queuing off cooldown because... We're queuing off cooldown because of the healing. This is where we just got a recall. And I believe this is where they start building MR2. So we're going to recall and get the void stuff. So Bummer had to waste the flash. We go void staff, Magi's, last item, Zonia's would be the most logical, but Shadow Flame wouldn't be bad. <laughs> really wouldn't. We might have to go to Shadow Flame. We'll see. Yep, the whole team's dying. All 
Okay. Okay, Mordekaiser. We're gonna get this shot done on the Shaco. Aw, oh, man. That's fine, though. We're gonna keep pushing it up. She is dead. And now, Vlad at full build, uncounterable. This is like the dream state you wanna be in when you play Vlad. This is the dream state where you can do this on repeat and they can't even counter it. <laughs> oh man, this is so fun. We really do want to conserve the W though for when some serious you know CC comes our way or something along the lines of that. We're going to be here. Looking to dip. Going to need to have my W come off cooldown again. But now that I have my R. It's because I didn't have my R right there. I couldn't uh, fully all in. Speed me up. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna recall. Sitting on 4k gold, we have to recall. And then, in all reality, the main goal here is to stack dragons. That's why. But our jungler is 0 7, so. I don't think he's following the, the whole memo here, but it is okay. That one's better for the flat. The flat AP and burst. Cosmic draw. Ah, no, this is better. It's better because the HP it gives and the AP is a lot bigger. But you're trading it off for CDR, which I don't think we don't need as much versus just flat burst. I think we might have to... We might have to stop the Shaco. Looks like it. It looks like it. Thousand AP. A thousand AP, Vladimir. Thousand AP, Vlad. All right. We're splitting bot because there's nothing to take mid. That's literally the real reason. And if they show, we fight. Our team should just be able to wave clear mid and just chill. Either way, it's... uh. Yeah, we can definitely base race them. I want to see them try. I want to see them try. Try to base race us. They don't have minions. I don't think we have minions either. No way. And just like that, 
do the base race and win the game. All right, y'all. That's the thousand AP carry. Catch you in the next one. All right, welcome to game number one of the two to three hour climb with Vlad. Oh, they just tried to invade there. Saw the Morgana Q. This lane we're playing against Swain, pretty medium difficulty matchup. And yeah, two runes that you really choose between is going to be the phase rush or Ares. That's like 95% of games. It's either phase rush or Ares. Phase rush more for like the movement speed, especially against like these range and then the Ares for melees that you can poke. And then there's exceptions where you can go conquer or the electrocute page, but yeah, the phase rush or Ares is the pretty standard stuff. So yeah, Kindred started top. We're playing against Swain, a lane that realistically not much will happen for the first couple of levels. Not until level six. We're literally just gonna be chilling. We're both playing th these like farming style mages, so can't really do much. Just making sure that I'm not getting crashed in and then leaning towards the left side so that way Vi doesn't gank me. Auto attack Q. And yeah, we're chilling. Oh, I walked back. One more auto attack for the phase rush. People don't even think about it, but phase rush is another... Another way to have mobility to escape ganks. Okay, now I'm worried. Vi might have skipped her, her raptors, went to blue, and could gank me from top lane. It's possible. Yep. Expected a Q to come out, so I had to run to the left. That's fine. Man, this lane is quite spicy. Lane is quite spicy. Vlad does have the weaker early, though. Especially with his start. And then actually, the longer the lane goes, the better. Because Swain has... Swain has mana he has to worry about. Uh, okay. Vice top lane, we saw her pathing towards the Kindred mark. And the wave shouldn't crash, so it's actually good, okay for me to recall here. Yep, the wave isn't going to crash. Flash on top of him. Fall back from the wave. No! Oh, Kindred doomed my wave. But Burnt Swain's flash. So it's like, uh, it's like a fair trade. Did he? I mean, now the wave is kind of like... Slow pushing, yeah, slow pushing back to the swing instead of being frozen. Or me collecting a lot of the XP, but for burning the flash, it's, it's, it's good stuff. Good stuff, Kindred. We'll get him next time. Got a ping for my bot lane. How? How did my E9 hit? Riot Games, man. It's Rito Games. Brain dead company can't program anything. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, 
I'm gonna get a Q on top of him here. Because we actually have some kill pressure. Because we have the Ignite and we have the Flash. And he doesn't. As long as we're able to keep it up, it's good. Keep up the aggression. Use our Q off cooldown so that way we get some healing. My wave is bigger here, so if Swin does want to fight. We have a fighting chance. I think that's enough, no? Should be. Rito games. Alright, whatever. He loses out a full wave. And then we can pull out of that. Yep, he greeted for more. And we know that Vi is top lane, so we can go to the side here and the wave is pushing back towards us. This game's definitely a proto angle. Bot lane tends to be, or seems to be doing well. Aatrox is losing, unfortunate. And the mid lane's winning, slightly, as of right now. Oh! Oh, nah. Kindred, we cannot be ganking losing lanes. Especially top lane. They're known to be that 1v2 lane. Ooh, my muscles. They are sore. I need to use my W here. It's actually really well played on the... Yes, we get the cannon. Really well played on the Swain's part. Catch me off guard there. He just has a lot of healing from Corrupting Potion, but Corrupting Potion gets outscaled by Dark Seal, D-Ring, or any damage, because it's only healing stats. Gonna Q there on the back end, so that way... We end up, ah, I mean, it is losing the trade since Swain has the Corrupting Potion, but. It's the best we can make out of that trading situation. Swain has no potions. We just gotta wait for that Corrupting Potion to keep going off and. He got me with another E. Yep, well played on his part. He got me with the E. This is uh really annoying lane. Jeez. It's a 1v1 lane. Like, no junglers have came. It's because of the fact that he has so much healing compared to me. But these are one of those lanes where I can just play for the scaling. It doesn't really matter. Yep, trying to push me in. Now he's up a level. That really messed me up. Doing it again. He's not going to be backing on a cannon wave, so... That's fine. It's either he has to stay, yep, either stay and lose two waves, or now take a really bad recall. I'm saying we can dive, especially if my R comes up really soon. Hit the back wave here. For some wave clear. And then we just play for mid bot. Mid bot and we win the game. Ah! 
Oh, if Vlad stepped, or if the Vi stepped up, it would have been game over. Oh, it was enough for the Vlad, but I think I might be dead here. Get him. Oh, close. Well played. Good shit. Oh, this 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 Swain player really building Merc treads. That's just I mean, I guess that's all right, but we're literally all AD. I'm the only one that's AP. Such a... Yeah, such a... I don't know. I, it's like, it's not even the worst thing in the world. It helps him 1v1, but... It's like a baby move, you know? Would have been better if you just went... Uh, Towards his first item. Or instead of his first item, just uh getting magic pen boots. I don't know. Actually, let me check the win rate. Swain has gotten many yeah, see yeah. Usually just rush uh magic pen boots. Many different changes in stats. But I think just going magic pen boots would be Definitely more beneficial. My cups have empty. I had a dip. I don't know who's I don't know who's there in that bush. <laughs> That's really not enough. Yeah, I see like Ezreal's coming. Protobell helps a lot for the engage. But as you can see, we are... We are having four people mid. And heavily stacking. Wait. <laughs> Ah, oh, bro, there's literally five people mid. Are you joking with me? <laughs> I guess that's the name of the game. Ah. Oh. Okay. Nice one. You get a pick on the Vi. But... Yeah, at this point, my main goal here is probably not even to just play for the 1v1 mid, but just try to roam bot or somehow in their wise jungle if I can get vision of her. Because Swain is going for a build where he's just playing for this 1v1 matchup. And then we outscale him because our build is more for damage and team fighting. Nice pick. Nice, nice pick. Look, we shove in, and guess what we do next? We duck here. See if Vi's on her way. Don't know where she is, though. Oh, there she is. Perfect. No, the exhaust really messed me up there. It was it was like good intentions though. It was good intentions with what I was trying to do. Go mid. Just, um 
Yeah, we really can't. We can't 1v1. Like, that's out of the question. Impossible. An ally has been slain. Impossible. This game, I'm going to go for more for the Shadow Flame Burst here. Okay, what is going on? Fall in, go mid. I'll go bot. I'll go bot and then we'll play. Yeah, we'll play for the side lane. is hot I think what will what will really happen is just me farming unless we can wait four seconds and see if we can uh... go for a little angle on the Ezreal he didn't have summoner spells there so we didn't have to use our ignite Yep, yep. I think I might need to take this because... It would seem... Yeah, they're literally all bots, so we gotta dip. I say we look for this drag, though. Kindred Stars is R up, or her R up. Ult! Ult! Ah, the CC. And we gotta get the ignite on the. Oh, we're outnumbered. Renekton still pushing top. All right. But yeah, we had to ignite this Swain. Otherwise, he was healing too much. The fight was bad. It started with the Jin getting picked. And then we were outnumbered because Renekton was top. Okay, Renekton. You're split pushing and winning. All right. These bruisers are going uh, no R MR. So if I go for this full AP build, I think I, I really should be able to just pop off. Easily. But I need to come from like a flank. <laughs> a little side angle. Oh, I couldn't get the Q off. Guys. Guys, we pinged. <laughs> Why are we mid? Ah, oh, Jesus! This is my. You could say it's my fault for not like just reacting to the fact that they're taking the most inefficient play of just shoving in mid. But ah, oh, Jesus! That's whatever. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. You know what I'm gonna do? We're just gonna side lane. I don't care. We're gonna side lane until we can take a good fight. That's literally what we're gonna do. All game. It, it like it literally is the most rational decision. Because the fact that no one has any sort of you know 
proper decision making. Everyone's doing whatever they want to do, so we're, we're going to do whichever's the most selfish, but at the same time, beneficial move, which is split pushing. And it's gonna be it's gonna be funny watch as soon as we start splitting they're gonna start fighting our team but I don't care how oh, the wave's still pushing towards them top okay didn't expect this to happen. I think it's gonna work though. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. And here we are, seeing if we can look for a... Oh, Morgana! Morgana! Why are you trying to focus me like that? And just like that, I think that should be the game. You split and then you group. That's the goal. This is it the game? I don't think... Hey, we don't have the minions. That's like the main issue here. But it's possible for us to end. Aatrox might try to stop us. I don't know. No, he's not. He's tilted. And that's going to be another game of the series. Catch you in the next one. Alright. Welcome to game number one. Of the two to three hour climb. I accidentally put a point to my W. At level one. Um, yeah, that's my bad. But, uh, that was mainly because they were trying to go for an invade, which they didn't. So, took Summoner's Airy because we're playing against Silas, a melee. Against this lane, I mean, I could have cheesed a Conqueror start, but didn't really feel like it. Q would actually win me the lane so hard here over the W. But, we gotta still win regardless. Silas took the ignite. Summoner's Ares doing the work. Just trying to build the wave. Slap auto attacks whenever possible. Right, this should give me level 2. We're slow building, so that way our wave is bigger than the Silas. And he can't fight us with his E on this big wave. Alright. Now he's level 2, but our wave is too big. How did my E hit him there? F in chat, I missed the cannon. That's what I'm wondering. Got the Q on him. That's fine. He's getting close to entire dive range. So I'm prioritizing these autos on him instead of these minions. Or he has to take a really bad recall. One of the two.
should still be enough. Oh, I should have ignited him before he... Uh, I should have ignited him before he got the W off. That would have been... A little bit of an outplay moment. The way he was walking up. And I'm okay with him recalling. As long as I'm able to heal to full with my Q, I'll stay in lane. I will stay in lane. Out to flash. Silas had his empowered E, or not empowered E, but his Q, uh, his E, and the Mordekaiser th tossed his E at me. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll take it. I actually did want the Mord to come mid. Like, realistically, if I wanted to just not play for that 2v1, I would just back away, but I wanted to play for it. So I opted to... Nah, just... I'll get the alternator. So I don't think... Yeah. I can't go Blasting Wand and then Amp. It's too much gold, so this is like the best buy I can make. I know I could play for it, or at least go one for one. I have R. So now you can't fight me for the next couple of seconds. Oh, I thought the cane would be able to collapse. And that's basically like the name of the game when you play range versus melee. Every time they step up, you Q, you hit him with something. Nice. Try to bait me in with your jungler again. Try to, try to bait me in again. See how that works out. That's exactly right. Yeah, nice. Nice Q, Morty Kaiser. Get him, get him to lose another wave. Right. Yeah, no, Sion's losing against Lilia. That is pretty normal stuff. Alright, you got R. I think it might be a one for one. Oh, one for two. Not worth. I know Silas is tilted off his mind. Going, this is uncounterable. Yeah, you know it is. It actually is counterable, but <laughs> Silas doing Silas things. Hehehehe. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He is frustrated. I could tell. I don't know if he ults out forward. He might have. Okay. 
So if it's a full on out 1v1, it's possible we can win it. We just gotta play our cards right. Like that. Yep. Play our cards right. That's what happens. Like, Silas got camped too. He got camped just for this to happen. Now I'm going to take one more tower plating and look for the base. Nice. And then now we build towards uh, Night Harvester. I like the Night Harvester for like the, the Mord Mord and Silas. And then Tarek has ult. That's the thing. Tarek has ult, so I don't really want to... Like, Protobel, I'll Protobel in and then Tarek will ult. So I wouldn't... I feel like it wouldn't benefit me as much. Versus... Just the Night Harvester and then the, the guaranteed damage from it. Unfortunate. Come on, tower. Then now more does that drag. Should still take the tower plating, no? Are you serious? It took it, but it didn't give me any. Took it. No. Come on. At least give me uh, two kills. There we go. Okay. I mean, I did get shut. Give shut down. So that's not ideal. But the good news is my balling can back him up. And then we can actually take the drag. This game, I'll just go Shadow Flame. Death Cap scales harder, but the Shadow Flame gives the flat pen that we can really use to pop off within this mid game. All right. Should be first tower here. First tower, then we look to dive bot. After we crash in this wave. Oh, Mord's top. What the? Alright. No, I meant to EW. Nah, I guess not. Yeah. <laughs> she can't even make it to the tower. Oh, this is too good. And when you get ahead, when you get ahead on Vlad, that's what you want to do. Jimmy with the right combo, though. That's the thing. Nope. Can't even land your ulti. Jimmy with the right combo, for sure. Oh, got me with the slow. 
There we go. Oh, Lux W actually saved. All right. I'm going to take this and then recall. Um, yeah, I don't have enough for Shadow Flame, but I should be able to get both components. Yep, yep. And then Lilia and Mort are trying to carry this. Oh man, this Lux, this Lux is gaming. All right. I guess we just push mid. We push mid if bot's pushing in. Try to take this mid tower as soon as possible. Oh yeah, blue buff. So our Q comes up a lot more, so that way we get more healing. Oh, wait a minute. Might be able to save him here. Alright, guys. You gotta give me one kill at least. Guys, one kill. Alright, get that, Ezreal. Yeah. <laughs> one kill. And just like that, that should be the game. Catch you in the next one. All right, welcome to game number one of the two to three hour climb. Climb with Vladimir. Um. Yep. Playing against Zoe. Pretty uh. Pretty medium difficulty matchup. Zoe tends to just. Like all mages, want to shove us in, and then we want to try to minimize this lane up until we can get our items and start scaling. So yeah. Playing against Mundo Jungle too, so I'm not expecting to get ganked too heavily. So we will just be chilling. We will just be chilling. Literally. I mean, Zoe right now is actually stronger than us, so we really can't play for the 1v1. Like... Yeah. It, Zoe, Syndra, Ori. In the early game, all these champs are definitely on the stronger side of things comparatively to Vlad. So you just kind of have to farm it out. Oh man, I wanted to empower Q the minion, the cannon. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. We're chilling. That's two potions, though. Two potions used by Zoe. So now the longer we keep the Zoe in lane, the better. If 
I was Zoe, I'd want to recall probably. Probably on that cannon wave. Yay! Nimbus Cloak OP. And yeah, the wave is really bad right now, so I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it. And then we can look for the recall. Nunu's a heavy gank jungler, so... I thought I was actually gonna get a gank before the 2 minute mark. Or not... Before he hit level, the full clear. But... Yeah, our gank, our gank came a lot later. Which is fine. A lot of AP will go a long way. But I'll just sit on the alternator for now. Start building towards Proto. Because Proto's definitely better this game. Got the phase rush set up. I could have experimented. Went for the ignite ghost setup. I think that one would do well, especially in their into their comp. But either or works. Oh no! Zoe's gonna use that heal. Yep, yep, yep. Oh! Um, I have no hard CC, so kind of, yeah, ganking me. Especially, I mean, Zoe did, does have no flash, but it's one of those moments where It isn't the most best situation. Oh, that was a nice one. I have to cue the minions that way I don't die. <laughs> And yeah, with the ignite should be the kill. Zoe using the fog of war to catch me by surprise. Well, now we just want to keep at it, autoing the wave, trying to use our Q off cooldown here. And then keeping up the aggression. Because now we're going to get a good amount of AP and we can finally just keep healing with our Q. Because the AP ratios. Alright, she clears my ward there. Nunu can gank mid at any time. I'm pretty sure Zoe's flash comes up l later. Like in one more minute. So it's possible we could try to sneak a gank beforehand. Zoe's playing off Fog of War. I 
That's fine. I heal off these minions. Why? <laughs> Got him. It was like perfect timing. The fact that Zoe came in or the Nunu came in at that given time. Bot lane trying to look for the roams. This team has a heavy heal team. With the new new, the new new Vlad. And I just W out. It's a cannon wave, so I will recall. I will recall and I have no ult flash, so I can't kill the Zoe. And the magic pen boots should come in clutch. I don't even need all my HP, I just need three forts. <sighs> All right. Now we want to keep the Zoe in lane. You're done. Have a nice day. I don't even need a recall yet, so I'll just stay in lane. All we got to do is... Just try to keep spamming these Qs at the minions. Actually, I recall this wave. I have enough for Proto. We go Proto Belt here. I'll go Sweeper because I'm playing more Assassin-like. Yep, bot lane goes mid, mid lane goes bot. You already know the drill. After the tier one towers fall. Look at this Seraphine. We're gonna cue the minion. I don't have my R. If I had my R. Oh, yeah. If I had my R, it would have been possibly a double. Right then and there, as soon as I went out of the bush. But yeah, we just keep pushing. Keep pushing, looking for our next target. I'm trying to zone them from the wave completely. But also, see if we can maybe... Maybe get this dive in. Yep, either way, they were donezo. Donezo Rapunzel. Let's see if anyone's going to come here with my charged up Q. Uh oh. Looks like someone did. Pop it. With the empowered Q and Nimbus Cloak from the Flash, we get the kill.
We gotta get the tower. Oh, no. I might be dead here. Or not. I got my Q healing. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Gonna go to the death cap. Just gonna be splitting bot for a minute. Gonna split bot, then like probably rotate mid after I crash the wave. Oh, they're getting shut down. Okay. Okay, they're getting shut down. Maybe I path towards mid here, see what I can do. Because Nunu's on his way, so I might be able to get a cleanup. And Renekton showed. Yep, yep. Hoped I could have gotten a two-man R, but sadly it was just one. Alright, minions block it. Nice. Now we're getting a lot of healing from the red buff, but... Gotta get more from these wolves. All right. Uh oh. Okay, we get one. We're going to get two. I think Jin is trying to get three. Oh, yeah, we get three. And that's going to be the ace and mid inhib. We just a ram it as soon as we get that little lead. I need enough for death cap. So I probably need to clear top wave and then I can look to it be. Alright, perfect. We get the tower too. We get the tower. Oh, and just like that, they forfeit. Catch you in the next one. Alright, welcome to the final game of the two hour climb. This lane we're playing against Syndra. Pretty medium difficulty matchup. And, you know. Just gotta play towards our strengths and she's gonna try to play towards hers which is that her early game is a lot better and post six it depends on how we play it but post six we can start to do something and uh in my opinion we do scale better than syndra she needs to lead like early on earlier on to actually find success within this lane which i mean she can do especially with the warwick jungle so yeah, Syndra wants to always, yep, spam the Qs at me. And try to always have the shove. Well, we want to keep the wave in the middle and just try to make her oom um and then out farm her. A lot of Syndra start corrupting. I'm guessing after the nerfs. 
to the corrupting potion she doesn't want it anymore but so that way she can play a lot more aggressive because i'm literally just waiting for her to become um okay that's pretty standard stuff let's hit that okay We're just trying to be... As much of a burden as possible. Oh, I meant to cue her. Well, oh, we'll play it on her part. I think Warwick would be topside. I don't think he's going for a full clear. Typically, they don't full clear. They like... They half clear into gank or invade. Now she's in all in range. Let's go. Uh oh, not my Q. Well, I mean, it was worth the try, anyways. Nah, Kindred's dead. No, I meant to Q. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. That would have been such an easy kill. But, hey, Syndra's like... She's just capitalizing on what she's good at, which is like the earlier portions of the game while I need to farm more. But uh, that was so close. I really did think we could make it happen. Syndra, Syndra. Kindred get, gets her mark. Dilter. So doable too. Like she took that one trade that made her tank so much so much minion damage. My cup is half empty. Typical. All right, well, we just got to be chilling, chilling, keeping even farm till at least level six. Yep, knew it. With the extra mana she has, she could play so aggressive right now. Got a word over the wall. I saw Warwick was bot side. The fact that we're shoving Syndra in though, that's where it's a little bit iffy. Nice, Syndra. It's a bummer. I need to match CS. Now we're level six. All in pressures increasing. Especially steps up here. Oh. I need my IQ at halfway. Then I can look for something. She's done. I don't even know if I needed to ignite, but you see what I mean? When your bar is halfway, that's when you're looking to all in them. If they step up halfway within the lane. And you can do that quite often. If not every time, if they just don't respect the Vlad all in. 
And then now we can recall. Uh, this game's most definitely... I like Proto more. Get us that burst. Wave's pushing back on a cannon, so we can chill here for a little bit. The Ruby will make it so that Syndra has a hard time trying to... Trying to uh, all in us. Yep, yep. Vlad's wave clear sucks. Typical stuff. I'm surprised. Mm. At least I got to fix my wave here. That's the good news. Okay, all right. Wait, what? Jinx actually got the snipe off? Okay, Warwick. I actually did to make sure I dodged Syndra's E, but she was out of range of it, so. Nice, we get the cannon XP too. I don't have R, so my all-in pressure on Syndra is actually pretty bad. But, I think she's going to stay because her wave is pretty doomed. I have red buff too. Yep, she outranges us. That's why, unless we have R and can all in, our, uh... Our laning is actually pretty bad. Our laning's yeah, it's really bad. I was, I, oh my, oh my god, shows. I was actually pushing it there, because I knew Syndra didn't have E, and that's like her actual only thing to keep her from dying from me when I look for all ins, and she already used it, assuming that she knew I had no R, so we kind of limit tested there, and it worked. All right, we'll go this, this, this. Pretty good stuff. Tier two boots, dodge her cues, get into range of our abilities. You know how it goes. And then for the most part, yeah, it's literally just scaling till, till that mid game. Is there's no. Roaming opportunities now is a bit hard. Easy kill. You got it. It doesn't really matter. Kindred gets the mark. Kindred's also a carry type champ, so. Hopefully, she can hit her item spikes quicker. And all we need is that CS farm. And we can continue to farm and scale. The good news is we have enough for Proto, which means that...
Yep, we can completely zone her from the wave. Oh, she's lucky. Yo, she's absolutely tilted right now. Absolutely tilted. She cannot... Oh my, we really did that to her. The EW combo when she ulted. This game's all burst. Uh, I think every, every source of AP goes a long way. Especially in this lane. Where my burst means everything. Like that play right there, if I was the Syndra, that's enough to make me ult out four. No joke. Ah, Zonius. You get to Zonius. I can all in her in uh, a couple seconds here, though. Just a recall, no? Yes, yeah, she does. Nice. Man, <laughs> the, the most tilting part about Vlad is Vlad's scales. It's not like my early game is supposed to be strong. It can be in some lanes. And, the, and those lanes, like, uncounterable. Vlad's, if Vlad beats you 1v1 and can scale like this, it's unwinnable. I just start spamming my Q on the wave so I can uh, build a full before the Syndra gets back to lane. Trying to look for another dive as soon as she comes up. Because my R should be up. <laughs> Silly goofball. Silly goofball. Uh, I think Warwick's bot side. Ah, oh, Jinx got the shutdown. That's terrible. Okay. Um. You know. That's what it is. It's what it is. We just gotta keep uh, keep at this aggression. Tristana and Morgana, they're not even doing badly. That's the thing. Like, I don't know how J Jinx is 5-0. and Because bot lane didn't even get destroyed. But... Bot lane's holding up. L O L <laughs> Got him. I got an assist for that, so I uh increased my dark seal stack. No joke, because I have ghosts, I can probably just run bot and then Jinx is dead. Okay, maybe I didn't need a ghost here, but... Oh, 
It's because it's for shutdown, and yeah. Like, we get one kill, and then we have to chase down another. Which is what Ghost will help us with. Double kill. Gave me the shutdown. Someone clear bot lane. I don't care who. We're playing a 1v9 champ. Um, let me think. Rabadon's the move? Yeah. We go Rabadon's here. And the good news is, Ghost has a lower cooldown than, uh... Than Flash, so you're able to pop off more with it. Oh, you're done, though. I think Kendrick can go crazy here with Kakin Slayer. Kakin Slayer. You see the shred? See, look at that. Syndra from 1 and 0 to 1, uh, 2 and 8. Congratulations, Syndra. You solo killed me at level 4. What did that get you? Oh, man. Nice. Well played. All right, we go for a drag angle. Nah, I can't look for it mid. I can't. Or I mean top lane. Or can I? Because I don't have ghosts. Ghost is like the main thing I need. Oh man. Oh man. Darius. They don't have that much MR. Right, let's go this and then we'll go amp. Darius. He's an issue. All right, now we're in our peak form. We're in our peak form within this game. We could finally. All right, team, am I going to get some backup or what? I thought the Warwick was going to try to arm me. But I do want to conserve my Magi stacks for sure. And I'll go bot. Get that wave. That way I have enough for Void stuff. I 
I do want a recall though. That's the thing. Morgana, do not die there. Come on, team. Come on, team. We're Vlad gaming. <laughs> oh wow. Holy shit. The EW combo. That's how you actually just go in 1v3 and do that. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Uh, do I look to recall again? Because my team isn't on the map right now. They're like all farming, so I don't want to die alone. All right. This game, I think I'm a fan of the Cosmic. It's one of those games where the CDR matters a lot more than actual bursts because we have all the bursts we need, or at least in my opinion. Okay, thanks for the help. Thanks for the help, Scion. But yeah, Darius is top. We're still look look at our ghost, it's still going. Yeah, you're done. You're done for. You're done for, Darius. Timing our W so that way he can't stack his marks up. Oh, I have enough for Cosmic. I'll recall here. All right, just because Jinx did that, we're going to go. Oh, I think it's warded. She's going to try to W me here. Then we know it's warded. Yep. Jinx is actually really fed. Three items. Yep. Jinx is actually pretty fed. Whole team died though. Love the ability spam. I'm ready. As long as I dodge dodge hard CC, we can make we can make the 1v3 happen. Or the 1v4, maybe even 1v5. I think I need my ghost for it though. Especially Jinx, that's the way she kind of counterplays me. Look at that, CDR, no CDR. 
And just like that, I think that should be the game. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Alright. Let's close it out.